everyone and I hope you have ha I hope you have a wonderful Christmas today. Here's our room tour Christmas 2020. Thank you very much Clara for that introduction. So here is our room tour Christmas 2020. I hope you have a lovely day today and don't get too stuffed and drunk. And here's our first piece. Sideshow Magneto. I went for the exclusive head sculpt. For some people say it looks a little bit like John Travolta, but I don't see it. There's a regular. Next to him, Scambit. That, I believe, is the best Gambit. Some people say the OG, but then I suppose people sometimes I say it because, you know, it's in the collection, I'm saying this because it's in mine, but I think it is the best. That's the exclusive head sculpt on there. The pose is brilliant, look at that. Very, very dynamic. There's the regular head. Rogue. I pre-ordered this after Gambit. I think Gambit was first shown at Sideshow, a uh, Sideshow, San Diego Comic Con was it last year? And afterwards I thought, right, I'll get this one. But I left it a bit late, so I went on the wait list for the exclusive, converted, I thought, yes, I went to order it, and it said you can't get it at this time. And then I found out that the wait list isn't the way it used to be, where it was first in line, it's like a free-for-all. But this head sculpt is really nice. So I mean, I, I I think this is more feminine, you know, the hair. So it wasn't, it's not a big deal. I think that's going to be it for me for the X Men line because there's so many of them. Otherwise, I'll be um, having to build an extension on the extension. And here is one of my favourites, one six scale Death Note. Brilliant. If you've never watched it or read, if you've never read the manga or watched the um, anime, do. It's brilliant. One of the best. Look at that. Look at all them little skulls down there. Really nice. The shirt, the folds in the shirt. And then we move on. Sideshow Green Arrow. The waves there, the foam spray. And here is Thor. It was between this and I think the new, what is it called, the Breaker of Brimstone, and I went for, I've started on this one. Some people think will think I'm crazy, but I preferred the pose on this one. The only thing is one-fifth scale. Green Goblin. That's another really, really great one. Lovely. And it pairs so well with the best Spider Man, in my opinion. That's the exclusive head. I think that, that exclusive coming with that head and that and that hand. I got that um that and, well, I bought that on the secondary market from Mr. Wayne Bolsover, very nice fellow. And then this one. 
Hulk vs Wolverine. There's been about a million of these made, and this shows you really that numbers don't get, doesn't don't really matter today. You know, they could, it's just, I suppose, virtually nearly every statue collector of Marvel and DC, all that kind of stuff has got this one, because it's just brilliant. It it's probably the best, the best statue of all time. If you're, if you're going overall for everything, it's just brilliant, wonderful. And the numbers show you because so many people have this one in their collection. Really nice. Then here is um, Iron Studios Punisher. Again, I think that's the best Punisher so far. Daredevil. This is the best one, and now they brought out. Um, this is Sideshow. Um, Iron Studios have brought one out, and that one's really nice as well. I do like the stained glass in that one at the back of it. That does look very nice. It'd be nice to see them both together. But I'm very happy with this one. I already got into Daredevil. Re watching the um, TV series on Netflix. Here's Electra. Everyone's probably going to have this issue. Look, she's starting to lean a little bit. Oh, I have to get some of that um, museum putty and I can just push it down and it'll hold it. It'll be okay. But she does lean a bit and I think everybody's going to have this problem. Well, a lot of people. I suppose it doesn't help that I've got her with the arm out. That probably makes it balance that way a bit more. But that's a really nice one as well. Very nice. Happy with those three together like that. And then is Harold Lloyd. Safety last. That one I want to make a little stand for it so I can kind of like hang it up. I don't really want to put it on the wall. I'd want to put it in Deltolf with um, Mime Joker and um, Charlie Chaplin. I don't know if it would fit. It might just about fit. But So I need to make a stand for it to hook it on because look at little hooks at the back. So that's that one. And here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Let me make sure the light's on. All the lights work. I did have a big problem with that. Really had to push it in hard there to get those light to get those last lights on. If some of you get this and you have that problem, it's there's the main problem. You really for those top three lights, you have to push that bit in hard, and you'll do it. And you or just sand the connect a little bit, and you'll do it. And this is amazing, amazing. It's probably my favourite statue I've had this year, I'd say. Definitely. It's just fantastic. Look at that. It's just amazing. Really nice. Really, really nice. And that's a little card that comes with it. I think there's 2,500 made. This is number 14. I don't care about numbers, but it's nice to have a little card with it, you know. If they have a little display thing, put it with it. The most important thing is as long as it's not damaged. And it's not, and it's great. Very, very nice. Look at the work, the detail in it. It's brilliant. I just love it. I think everybody in the family that I show it to, everyone, yeah, they, they come in here and I say, which is your favourite? And they say, this one. Everybody loves it. If you haven't, if you liked statues, one full scale and you like games as well, Ezio Assassin's Creed Pure Arts. Amazing, brilliant. And here's my friend Witcher. This is the old Vic Skellig old Vic armor, and I really like this one. I just want I went for this one because I just do like the um, the outfit because it's not like the regular outfit. It's um, got a bit more colour to it. That's nice. You've got the light up hand. Not sure I can get that to light up. There we go. Boom. That's it. Done. That's really nice. And then there you go. One of the best. Hot Toys head sculpture you'll ever see, I think. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really nice. 
and there's some Lego Death Star. That is a, that's so much fun putting that together. Did it, uh, no, it won't spin like that. But it's really, really nice. Loads of detail in different scenes. And there's the bottles. I've got these when we went to Galaxy's Edge. The Coke bottles. Um, when they're in February. And then these are the um, Holocrons. You just, I can't do it with one hand. But you know, I think I've shown before. You can turn them. Gosh, if I can do it. Can I do it with one hand? Yes, come on, come on. Come on. Problem when you film. I need one of them things. You know where you can. Ah, there you go. Look, I'll just do one quickly. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. Not again. The dark shadow of the Empire rising oh. to take their place. That's bad news. Bad news. Anyway, so that's what you're doing. Just spin it. They turn off. I'm just a big kid, so I love them. I love them. These, in the cantina, they've got the cantina. They're like out of the films and made in the Galaxy's Edge. And you're not really supposed to have them, but these are the beer mats, and I kind of like them. They fell in my pocket. I'm not normally like that, but, you know, and the same with the menu. This menu as well. They keep going missing now. I don't know how it just happened. I think it was a Jedi mind trick. I think I did stuff in Obi Wan thing, where, you know, with my hand, and it just, they just handed it over to me. You will give me this menu. And that was it. This is, um, oh gosh. Lego. Do you know what? It's just gone from my head for a second, but anyway. Here it is Ewok Village. That's it. This is really, really nice. I got this, I think, on eBay a, few, cause it, a couple of years ago because it had already um, sold out a long time ago. But it's, um, it's sealed. If I ever buy Lego on eBay, it's sealed with the Lego box instructions. That way, you know, it's a real deal. Lovely, isn't it? Look, poor old Chewbacca. There's the sideshow. Um, what do you call it? Speeder bike. Scout trooper. More Lego there. This one I absolutely love. I'm not a big Pokemon fan, but when I saw it, I just loved the um, the dynamism of it. You know, I think it's fantastic. Love it. It looks a bit odd with everything else where it doesn't because I've got a lot of Lego kind of toy stuff. So but I just love it. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? And then here we are. This is the Battle of the Planets I had. There's the, had a little bit of an issue with it. With the with the exclusive head scope, a little bit of a scratch on the visor and that paint. Sideshow sorted it out. They, they gave me, was it $150 um, credit? And I just put it on something else. I put it on another pre-order, but that's it's not a big issue. It's with the exclusive. Where is it? The head sculpt. It's at the back. There it is. It's only a tiny little mark on it. Just about to see it. Can you see it there? It's not the end of the world. I prefer the regular head sculpt anyway. So that's okay. That's all right. So there you go. Look at that. That is beautiful. Battle of the planets. One of our first cartoons in the late 70s started watching. Superman v Batman. That's really nice. Look at the glow from the ring. Who's going to land first and who's going to hit hardest? Look at that. Beautiful. Then down here. This is probably my favourite ever Lego build. Hogwarts Castle. I mean, look at that. Over 600 pieces, and it was just fun from the beginning to the end. If you turn it round, you can see the interior of the castle and all the little rooms and everything, but if I imagine, I can't turn it around one hand. So I think this is the nicest way to display it, and it's just a fantastic, beautiful Lego set. My favourite, probably. Definitely. It's just really nice. Great build. There's some more Lego sets. That one at the back, that is the um, original Diagon Alley. I got that a few years after, and I had to go to eBay to buy that, and I bought it brand new sealed. It was oh God, it was so expensive. Um, and now they're bringing out another one, so I'm probably going to put a sheet of Perspex half along here, so I can fit some more Lego in it. It'll look nice when it's done. There we are, some more Lego there. These ones here, these are brilliant. 
Um, this, there's the um, Apollo. So it's Saturn V, isn't it? I think that rocket. Yeah, yeah, my. Um, this one, you press the button, all the batteries are in it, and you turn it on, and it will go round. Wait a minute, let's try one of them. Let's try this one. Look at that. Isn't that nice? There we go. That's that one. And that does the same. The, um, oh gosh, I'm knocking things over now. Let's just see a second if I can get this one going. Oh my gosh, my hands. Come on. There we are, look at that. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh. What's happening here? Don't fall off. Don't kill yourselves. You don't want an accident. Stuck for some reason. But anyway, you know, you get the idea. I've just got to sort it out. And then that one at the end as well. That carousel turns around. So that's really very, very, very nice. And here, Bioshock. Look at that. Isn't that nice? I loved that game. It was about 2007, 2008. Played it. This is the regular. The exclusive one has a light up um, helmet, it lights up in the head, um, but it wasn't worth me, um, I had to order it somewhere else and it was going to take ages to come and it was like something stupid like £150 more just for the light up and you're not really going to use it that much, so it didn't matter, but that's really nice, love that one, it's quite heavy as well. Um, here's the Hulk Buster, getting ready, I haven't, I, never, I haven't put all the batteries in, there's so many batteries to put in, I have never put them in, that's really nice, that one. I bought that from Toy HQ, yeah, and that was just before they went bankrupt and left a lot of people unhappy. So I, I've, I've touch wood, I've never had any issues like that with any company. I've lost any money. Right, so that's that. Oh my gosh, a little bit of a cobweb there. That must be um, Spider Man. Now this, I bought this recently. Um, it's called the IKEA Brawl or something like that they don't do the white shelves in this size so I had to buy the black shelves but I'm gonna put some I've got a white bit of thin card or something on there you know like the um what do you call it MDF sheet on there and something on the side because I needed this size that lovely um parts of the Caribbean ship isn't gonna stay there it's gonna go off it's just there for the moment to fill the space and a nice massive big beautiful statue is gonna go there and something like that under there as well but that is that is lovely, this ship. I was hoping to do a very quick video, but that never will happen, will it? And there's so much to see. I think it was like over 200 figures and statues and a lot. Right, so let's go over here. Up here, there's more Lego to put up here for the moment. It won't stay there. That is Disney, um, Disneyland, California station. Walt Disney loved, he loved trains, he had his own train, um, miniature railway in his garden that he used to ride around. This car, that is really good, that one, it, it works, so you use your phone, it's remote control, use your phone to, to make it drive around, that's really nice. And here is um, Homer Simpson, Simpson's house. Arkham Asylum, down there, you can see. There we are. Right, let's go over here. These prints I got from um, Epcot, Norway Pavilion. This fellow, he's there every few weeks. He's the artist. And I've got, a I've got a photo with him and he signed them for me. Really, really nice. There he is. Larry Dotson. And at that same time, I, just, I, I like those, the Haunted House um, ride attraction. And he, and he personally signed it. For me, really nice of him. It was at the same time Festival of the Arts was on. They had at Disney back in February. Here we are, some more Jason, Freddy, Pinhead, Chucky, Gizmo. It's full over on. The reflection, so I can open this door. 
and these are the figures that always cause me stress from, <laughs> from some of my lovely friends in the community. Oh my gosh. Redmond Dracula Blue, Dracula Red, and um, Lost Boys David, and the little lantern that lights up. I think it's a button, isn't it? There's a button underneath. So, yeah, as you can see, that lights up. So, it's those three. There's some more here. That was just a cheap um, Hannibal Lecter. One, nothing special, but because it comes with the mask, you know, if the sculpt's not that good, it's not the end of the world. Leatherface, Pennywise, Scream. There we are. Those. That's a custom one at the back. I don't think it's that good though. I should have um gone and got a hot toys or something else, but I don't think it's that. It's not that great. And there's Black Panther. Here, there we go. Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp, Davy Jones. That's Sorosky crystals in there. I put in there just to make it look like a shine. Nice, huh? Harry Potter, Matrix, Sirius. Or Dobby's falling over, and again, that's a really good sculpt. That was Hermione. Day. That's when Star Rates were, were good. They've always been backwards and forwards. They have. That's why I've just stopped buying this stuff now. That's, you know, it's just too too disappointing. They are. And at the back there are there's um Demon Batman, Hot Toys, and Scarecrow. He's not going to stay there. I'm just just putting him in there. Chucked him in there for the moment. I am Patriot. <laughs> Doctor Who, Mooncrest med models console. I had to wait about a year. Pre um, he made it custom made, and he had uh, quite a long, a lot of people. So you know, it's, he's very, very demand that. If anybody, people always want that, and it was it took me about eleven months to get it from order, which you know, that shows how popular he is. There we are, Doctor Who. I should speed this up a bit. This is gonna be a long one again, isn't it? And there you go, James Bond. Very nice. Here again, well, Sean Connery, yeah, Goldfinger. Okay, and then here we are. This one, Live and Let Die. Really, really nice. That Baron Samid is amazing, really, really good. They did a fantastic job. Big Chief Studios on these ones. Very nice. And then down here, here we go. Bang, Hot Toys Bang. War Machine, Two Face. Okay. Right. And then over here, some more. Royal Guards, Palpatine. Negative Batman, Death Note. That head didn't doesn't didn't come with the Hot Toys figure. You could buy that. I bought that from I think One Six Kit. Lucky, Captain America and Thor. Oh. and then Robocop at the back. I got that this year. And he says different things and stuff. And then there you go, Mars Morales. Ayrton Senna. And Studios. Oh. Dorothy. Colt King Dorothy. Very nice, that one. E.T. Harry Potter. Sherlock. Bottom of Bride, I really love these. I mean, the tailoring is brilliant on these. I love anything to do with Victorian era. Uh, Big Chief did a great job on them too. Very, very nice. Here we are. There we go. Iron Man. Neon Tech. 
And down there, that is, um, what's it? Indiana Jones, was it DXO5, I think, something like that. That's the second, um, that's the head sculpt that came with it, because I've got a different one. I've got a Nego head sculpt. He's got no trousers on, though. Um, and that's the other clothing set. And that, that little lantern is from Steve Webber. I see studios. I see customs. Lego Firehouse, that is really, really nice. Ghostbusters, these are my Ghostbusters Ecto 1. There we are. Ooh, ooh. And then there are the figures. They're really nice. Blitzway. That's Blitzway. It makes noises. You can, it would, got a little MP3 player and then you put music on it. There they are. Right, and then over here, we've got that I bought that at Disney. Really nice. That picture. Bought that in Epcot. Ring Rafe at the Ford. Really, really good. The detail, that's incredible. Beautiful statue. Oh, we're in Frodo on. As as for laugh, please. Here. There we go. Obi Wan. God, what's his name now? My brain's going at the moment. Darth Maul. <laughs> Christopher Lee. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, Bayek, the back, Uncharted, Lord of the Rings, this is probably the best statue I've got, I mean it's amazing, gosh, what's his hair, um, the glass eyes, I tell you it's incredible, I'm just surprised it hasn't never sold out yet and it's, you still can get it. Even cheaper than what I paid for it. Look at it. Look at the, the the water. The way it looks like real water. You've got fish under the water. Looks amazing. Really, really amazing statue. Definitely most lifelike I've got. Beautiful, and it's really doing it a disservice being down there. Arwen, not Arwen. Galadriel, <laughs> Dark Queen, and that's the one they changed the head sculpt for me. They gave me a new one. Very kind of wetter. That is beautiful. Really, really nice. Right. Oh. Here, here, got Lego up there, and there. Let's do this one quickly. The, the cars, the Lego cars are the hardest to put together. They're a nightmare, really are a nightmare. There's so many small pieces. More Lego there. That truck as well, that's a hard one. Get halfway through it, you find you use the wrong piece. You have to take loads apart. And uh, more down here. There we go. Iron Spider. Spider-Man Venom. That's some bullet head. The poison is called Venom. There we go. The Chief Studios. Sherlock. And then the police box. Yeah, where is the button? I can't find it. I'll leave it. There you go, David Tennant, Christopher Eccleston. Very nice, that. Really, really good. They're hard to get hold of now, them police box. Well, they're sold out a long time ago, but very, very hard to get hold of. Okay. Here we are. QMX, Star Trek line. They've stopped making them now. What's that? Quickie Mark. Harry Potter, Voldemort. That is what's maybe stopped buying Star Race figures. That Tina Hermione is, in, is terrible. Glad I put the hat on her head. I should put it over even more. That's really, really bad. That's what I stopped buying Star Race. Iron Man with Gantry. DC Collectibles. Cyborg Justice League. Superman. That base is huge though. Now the, these are Sideshow, um, Universal, Monsters, Frankenstein, The Wolfman. 
there's um, Deadpool. These two rocky figures, caustic plastic, the head sculpts are brilliant and the clothing is really nice. But the bodies are terrible, they're as weak as a kitten. You can't pose and they just f flop apart, they're so floppy. But they're very, they're very, apart from that, they're very, very nice. Really, they should be somewhere else. I'm probably going to put them with the Tyson ones or with my other boxing ones at some point. That's that. And then here, got to get a move on. Here we go, Aquaman, Batman, Justice League. Wonder Woman, Flash, Full Scale Joker. That, one, four, four, that head sculpt, really nice. That's really good, that Kristen Bale. There we go. So that's those. Try and hurry up a bit now. Dark Side, Anakin. A couple of Stormtroopers. Oh, gosh. You know, I put the batteries in on them. I put the, but the batteries are in, but they light up the heads. I still got done it ready but I didn't really nice oh gosh there you are look there's her head lit up he's lights up very nice really nice okay Stan Lee that's part of the, my, one of my Lego sets Doctor Strange uh, and then that's it, I think, in here. And there's the um, it's raining outside now. Millennium Falcon. If you've seen that before, I think that's this room done. So we carry on. Um, here's Batman Armory. Very nice. That lights up the back. I think I took the batteries out there. They're really nice. Very nice. Very nice. Is it the other Indiana Jones? The Inigo head sculpt I was telling you about. Hot Toys, Idol, Firefly, love that series, a signed version, get a little signed card with it, Fantastic Beasts, Mime Joker, and that is um, Charlie Chaplin, that's um, Rain Man head sculpt, that, I think it was a collaboration wasn't it with Colt King, something like that. That's why I want to put the um, other Harold Lloyd behind. I'd like to put that bit and fit it in. Here we go. There's another one there. Wolverine. That's crap. I mean, that's was it CGL or something like that? Ugh. I just swapped the bodies around with the with another one with the figure masters. Hellboy, Hellman, AR Toys. Mask. Hot Toys Terminator. Storm Collectors, Tyson and Muhammad Ali. I think that's the best out of the lot, that sculpt. Well, that one's better than the... The older versions I think they're very nice you just can't really pose them because their bodies just be destroyed King the Rocket Men Judge Dredd oh, and up here this is one of my first videos this box I mean I think it's, I've got most views on this about 47,000 it's very very rare hard to get that really nice set there we are this is all my Harry Potter Collectibles here, the Philosopher's Stone, a couple of ones there, Hufflepuff Cup, Ravana Ravenclaw, Diadem, Bellatrix Dagger, more Harry Potter, Coins, Quill. Ones, loads of ones there. All the sweets I, I bought a lot of these sweets from. I bought these in Disney World, the Wizarding World. Map there, book. Went to see the play when it first came out. Really, really good. Loved it. With the original cast. 
Oh, right. Let's do this up here first. That I saw that. I thought it was really nice. Really, really nice. So I pre-ordered it. I think that's all metal as well. Coup model company. Ghost Rider. And that bike was a third party bike. Disney Castle. Let's go over here. Colt King. Last Samurai. Very, very nice that. The head sculpt's brilliant. But look at that. Fantastic. Very nice. Um, and that one is Caustic Plastic, Legions of Rome. Just thought they'd pair well together. Figure Masters, Professor, Xavier, Francis Xavier, Magneto. They, that, that body is from the CGL one because the Figure Masters body is terrible. It's so floppy, so to swap them around. And the outfit, I think. And that base is from the CGL one, I think, as well, whatever the company is called. Redman. Good, bad, ugly. Clint Eastwood, that, that's very nice. That is good. Good job. And a little horse. So I've made a little thing there, you know, he's eating something around the fire. That's from the Ghost Rider. That horse is, um, oh, what's the name of the company now? Something, oh God, I can't remember. I can't remember now. I remember. That's a 3 zero Rambo, really good. That is probably the best one so far. Brilliant, they've done a brilliant job. Brilliant. Predator at the back, and here's the caustic plastic um, Conan. Very, very nice again. So they pair; they look nice together. All oh, right. Them knees, them knees. And here we go. Let's have a bit of music. Chun came in. Freddie Mercury, Wembley. That is still the best. Still the best one. Best Freddie Mercury. So sculpt so far figure it really is fantastic. Did a great job. And that is Enterbay Elvis. Very nice. And here we've got Hot Toys Godfather. And Colt King Young Capo. Young Capo. Get the wind out there. God's howling. Batman from the game and Joker Pulp Fiction from Star Race that didn't do that good I'm not that wasn't that pleased with that actually not very good I should have got the um to be honest the the Redman recast would have been better to get than this one not great the Samuel Jackson one's better but John Travolta no not very good that's life isn't it what can you do and here we go good fellas Colt King, very, very nice. Love those. And then at the back here, Enter the Dragon, Kitty Hen on his name is something like that. They're custom. One out of 50. They're, I think he's going to do 50. I don't know if he's even made them all. I'm not sure, but they're really, really good. You get the head sculpt and the clothing. And I bought the bodies and trainers myself. And that's... Um, Kit bash as well. That was made by George Wall. Very nice. Very kind of him to do so for me. That claw. And then Hot Toys, Bruce Lee. Spider Man. And then that's like a kit bash. Use the other head. And not get all together the clothing set, all the body. Steve McQueen. Great escape. And. Million dollar man. Very nice. Right, 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 right. What time is it now? Whew. Just a lot here. This is probably my old oh, sugar. The car's moving. Just drop something. Where's the button for it oh, to do the lights? I can't even find it now. There we go. There we are. Done it. We got it in the end. And there he is. This is my favourite setup that I've got. I just love Back to the Future, my favourite film of all time. Favourite film. Let me just pause this once. Yeah, because that bag dropped. Just love this film.
Greatest film of all time. I could watch this a thousand times and I would never be bored of it. Love it. I know a lot of the lines from this film and everything. This is definitely my favourite. Beautiful. It looks fantastic. And I, this is my, probably my first Hot Toys. I pre-ordered that in about 2014, 2015. I pre-ordered it. I think it was either Big Chief Studios or Movie Figures I pre-ordered it from. And it's my favourite. And then here's some books down here. I've got more load, 300 of these books. Alfred Hitchcock and the Free Investigators. They came came out in the 60s, 70s. It's like Nancy Drew and um, what's the other film? The Hardy Boys, but much better than them. Much better. Alfred Hitchcock was huge at that, that time. It wasn't written by him. Robert Arthur wrote them, but they used his name to promote the books, you know. So that's those. Up here. Star Wars. Disney already made their money back. Was they paid four billion for it? I think. Something like that. And they've already made their money back. What a great investment, eh? These, what well, they call it, A New Hope now, don't they? Um, in my day, it was just Star Wars. I think it's when they brought out the, the prequels that they changed the name, didn't they? Obi-Wan, Luke. Yoda down there. Tarkin. Boba Fett, and now he's going to have his own story now. I'm excited for that. And Solo Chewbacca. That's the sword of Godric Gryffindor. That is some stuff my wife's just dropped up for Christmas. Decorations. I think it was either this or Marty McFly was my f one of my first figures that I got. I can't remember. Mad Eye Moody. Professor Snape. Sirius Black. These are my boxing figures. I tell you, if I start talking about boxing, you'll be here all day. I could talk about the history of boxing, every box, everything. I just love it. Absolutely. It's my favourite thing in the whole world. Obviously, after family and that. But, um, yeah, about eight, about six or seven. These sheer were made by a company called Sheer Cost in about 2000. This is when I bought them. So I've had these for about 20 years. And so these are my first figures, stroke statues. Around about 2000, 2001. Rocky Marciano. Duran Leonard, 1980 Montreal. Duran won that on points. Leonard fought the wrong fight, and in the rematch, he knew what to do. And then what happened then? No mass. Nigel Ben, probably my favourite British fighter. Just so exciting. It wasn't the best British fight, but you know, one of the best, but great. And there's Lennox Lewis. I mean, these sculpts aren't very good, are they? But they're of their age. Lennox Lewis. He moved to Canada when he was about 13. I think he was born in East Ham or West Ham. East Ham he was born. And he moved there when he was 13 with his mum, Violet. But he's a Brit. 100%. And one of the very best heavyweights of all time, you know. He avenged his losses. Oh, and that little glove. I got that when I went to see Nassim Hamed fight at um, Earl's Court against Vianu Bungu in about March, April 2000. Brilliant. We had second row, seats in the second row. Naz was just so exciting. He's brilliant. He's very, very good boxing. He's power, my God, for a featherweight. He's like a Sandy Saddle. I mean, he had incredible power. One of the best. But when he came to Barrera, he didn't train properly and he got beaten easily. And over here, we've got Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? You're a wizard and damn fine good one at that. And then we've got Gladiator Hulk. Then Hot Toys, Hot Toys Joker, and then that's my wife's from Disney. And then here we who have we got here? Quidditch. That see they did very good with those as well. Hot Toys, not Hot Toys, Star Race. Sorry, and now they've just gone to rubbish. The recent James Dean one's terrible, and that's what they're battling for. Golden Snitch. And then here we have the um, Dumbledore's army. One set. Here is this came with the D DVD box set, whatever it is, Blu-rays. You know the uh, one of my last year's video, and it's got loads of drawers in it, and you, that came. It's like a tea towel material, and it's a whole map of um, the Harry Potter world. Really, really nice. I just framed it and put it in there. 
And then they are the, um, what do you call it? Oh, God, Death, Death Eater masks. Really nice. That little set. And here's some books from my bedroom now. Um, I was watching a lot of the, you know, some of the statue videos, some of the guys like um, Gem Mint, and you saw the big omnibus in the background. You get to anything, oh, what's that one, that one? So I saw them. Then I found another um, YouTube channel, a guy called Near Mint. Really, really good. What's he called? The Ancun Ancun Canny <laughs> Uncanny Omar. And his reviews are brilliant. And um, and so I was looking at top 10 videos, what people recommended the best ones. You don't want to buy any old thing, and it could be rubbish. So I started buying. I bought this Calax, put it together. And some these are some of the ones I bought. I've got oh, the Daredevil ones, Wolverine, Green Lantern. And I bought... Um, down here preacher the second ones are going to come out in about august i think aquaman unconnected so i think i've got some really nice ones um i had some of my own from years ago these are ones i already had years and years and years ago and all the hellboy i got into hellboy around about after when them films came out in about 2005 were they and i started buying all the books the volume so i've had these about 10 years well more than that the first one when it came out and the BRPD, I started buying comics from my local comic book shop. And these are all ones that I had. I just recently read Ballad for Halo Jones, brilliant, Alan Moore. And I recently read, these are my boxing ones, look, the greatest fights of all time. You know what number one is? Ali Fraser 3. And number two is The War, Hagler Hearns, man, that's a brilliant fight. 